It's time to finally give you guys a fostering update. Last year was full of a lot of unexpected things in my life. Hello, village! Woo! What would you like this video to be about? I know what we're going to be doing today. Oh, okay. Well, let me tell you about that. So I'm in the process of getting dinner ready for the kiddos. Gonna heat up some Costco rotisserie. Yum. And some frozen vegetables because it is a quick, quick night. Quick, 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 quick. I thought you said that I could stay up as long as I wanted. You can. So, um, I'm about to go pick up Sawyer and I have a surprise for them. I'm going to show you. I, I think you're going to want to see it. Um, I was afraid to look in the dining room so, so I, because like on accident me if I looked at the thing. So, like, so, mom, so I asked mom to cover up with something and she did. So now... Nope, don't go too close. I'm not. Oh, let's show them your hair. Huh? So Darcy had an inspiration for her hair. She drew on her computer, her little laptop, a that, little... That, like, one side would just have, would just be nothing. like that, like... And then there would be a, a braid, braid in the middle. In the middle. To turn but, it uh, surprisingly, Mom came up with a totally different idea, well, and I love it better. Oh, well, thank you. So I'm about to head and get Sawyer, show them the surprise, which I think they'll be excited for. Oh, I cannot wait. And uh, tonight I'm having a little bit of a girls' night. So I have a friend who is visiting from out of town. Amber! Stating, yep, her name's Amber, we call her Rainbows. <laughs> and she's staying so for a little while. Guys. So uh, her and me and my sister are just gonna go out. There's some live music, just kind of chill, relax. Uh, so that's why I'm actually not all like scummy and I'm like actually dressed up, put together, hair, put some makeup on, have actually a decent outfit. Are you imitating me? But then we'll figure out what we're doing this weekend. And I know I promised you guys a fostering update, so I'm gonna give that to you. All right, got Sawyer now. All right, kids, come on over. <laughs> Both of you put a hand on the blanket. Okay, buddy, you get this side. You get this side, and then on the count of no, three. But you can open mine now. You can open your but eyes. But it's cold. Okay, so take that, that, that. One, One two, two, three, three. pull. <gasps> Do you guys like it? Yeah. Should I we, love it. Should we open it? Yeah. Yeah. My This is one of those things where they um, are gonna start to inflate with the air. They have a bunch of ideas that you can uh, do. You can make it a couch. Like here's a big diggle, the royal throne, the cozy campsite, the comfy couch, and then adventure mobile. Cool. Cubby buddies. Oh yeah, that's where you can like be in the mm. cubbies. And then secret passage in a home base. Amazing! So many, so many things! Whoa! Oh my God! That is so cool! <laughs> Look at this! <gasps> and you get a box. Yep, that's right. So not only did the kids spend pretty much the whole weekend building all the different variations um, that this set came with, but they also created some fun stuff as well, like this obstacle course, and Darcy turned it into a nail salon. She did hair, makeup, and nails. Anyway, girls' night was a complete success, uh, had a lot of fun, had a very small, big glass of wine and uh, also was able, because the weather was so nice, I took the kids out to um, a new trail that is actually pretty close to us, and it has two really beautiful lakes. Um, a lot of people were fishing, and I think I'll take them back to do some fishing. I actually got them fishing poles uh, for their spring baskets, so um, they even asked, they're like, oh, can we, can we fish? And I was like, well, we have to plan ahead, and I have to figure out how to use the fishing poles. But we went on this uh, trail and ended it with a nice little picnic by the playground and they got to play. And it was just a beautiful day. I love this weather. It was like not too hot, not too cold. 
We even brought Penny along and she enjoyed being out. And this is just the beginning of all the fun adventures. It's time to finally give you guys a fostering update. And I kind of alluded to this in a TikTok and an Instagram reel and a YouTube short. So if you saw that, um, I'm just gonna elaborate a little bit more. Currently, I do not have any foster placements in the home. I am taking a break. Last year was full of a lot of unexpected things in my life and I'm still kind of in that transition phase. So it's not something I'm gonna be sharing uh, transparently uh, about for a while, but it has impacted uh, my fostering journey. But last year I did have a teenage placement for half the year, pretty much from July to December, um, right in the midst of when everything was kind of shifting and changing in my life. And it was a it was an interesting time. I'll be able to share more about that in the future, uh, but it is something that uh, I want to make sure that I handle with respect, care, all of those things. That placement I am still in contact with and they uh, come back and visit and I'm in communication with them. And this is where I am gonna work with my agency to see what I can and can't share uh, because there were a lot of incredible lessons um, through that placement. It has drastically shaped how I am a foster caregiver and I want to be able to share while also being respectful and not divulging any information that would be um, breaking that youth's uh, confidentiality, trust, all of that. And this teen did require, you know, a certain level of care and attention and time um, and all of that. And I love them dearly. I love them so, so dearly. And between that and all of the things that were happening in life, um, when they moved on and they moved out of the home, uh, I am deciding to just kind of take a pause and recalibrate. This is something that is supportive for me in general when I've taken a longer placement or maybe like a challenging placement. It's supportive for me to take some time to check in with Darcy and Sawyer, see how they're doing, check in on their development and adjustment and get to a new normal and then also take care of myself. <laughs> and um, I'm definitely in a stage of just kind of uh, healing and exploring. I started a business in July and um, it's business and learning consulting. I'm an instructional designer. I've talked about this before. And I really do want to amplify, you know, smaller organizations, mission driven, uh, you know, heart centered organizations, you know, think the nonprofits who are up to big things and who need some additional support to make their training or their message, you know, effective, efficient, and like get it out there um, and change the world, honestly. I know it's ambitious, uh, but uh, that's my business. And so I started that in July. I am looking for clients. So if you're in this world and you want to reach out, uh, drop me a comment below and, and we'll connect and get on a call and talk. Uh, but as far as fostering goes, I, I am taking a break and I clearly communicated that with my agency, with my, with my caseworker, and she is in full support. She completely understands. I have had... Um, I think one call for a respite placement because I do want to be open for respite. And when I got that call, the room was not uh, entirely cleaned up. Uh, so I would have had to be rushing to get that space uh, together. And I also had some like scheduling commitments that weren't gonna, weren't gonna work out to where I could give this child um, the attention and the support that they deserved. So I did say no to that, but during this phase, I am still keeping my license active. I do plan on fostering in the future. I'm gonna stay within that, you know, taking in teen placements and I'm open for respite. So there is the possibility of that in the future. It's just right now and I think, you know, until I can kind of stabilize and get like a really good groove going, I'm just focusing on myself right now. And I know so many of you are so supportive and understanding and patient and kind, you know, so I just wanna preemptively say like, thank you, thank you for um, still supporting Be The Village, still jumping in and supporting each other in the comments when when you guys have questions or are needing support and like guidance, 
Um, I am going to be available on uh, other platforms like Instagram. Um, you can usually send me a direct message and although I might not reach out right away, um, I do want to open up you know, myself to additional levels of support. So offering just like free support calls, you know, throughout the week, I'm going to get that set up because I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be in the thick of it as a foster caregiver. And then, you know, adding in primary parents who are, you know, having their children removed and not knowing how to navigate the system and get the support that they need to, to bring their family back together. Um, and then you have kinship. So I, I want to be available so that, you know, if you don't know where to go, you can reach out to me. We can jump on a call and, and get you some support, or at least I can hold the bucket as, as you share and maybe point you into, into some, you know, different directions that you'd find supportive. But I am just really grateful for the continued support and you are going to see a uh, scheduled, like a, a much clearer schedule of content. I actually hired a social media manager to kind of keep me on track and be consistent with my posting and also take the old content that I have and repurpose it into short form so that it can be on Instagram reels and TikTok. So you might see some content from like years ago um, start popping up, totally normal. I want to make sure that the, the really valuable content is going to get out to people and it might, it might land on, you know, new eyes, new ears and inspire action for them. And with that more consistent scheduling, I would recommend that if you aren't already, please subscribe, um, like this video and make sure your notifications are on so that when a post, uh, when a video is posted, you get that alert and you can watch right away and be one of the first ones here. Drop in the comments below what you want to hear about, what do you want to learn about. Um, if I brought somebody on the channel to do an interview, who would you want me to talk to? Uh, and yeah, it could be specific. So you could say, I want Brittany from Foster the Teens, or you could say, I want to hear from a caseworker. I want to hear from a primary parent and hear their, their perspective. Share in the comments what you want to, what you want to know. And I'm going to add it to the content list and you'll start seeing it pop up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.